paper, so my expertise on the deck is pretty low, but some blue-white things, I'll be fine. Um, there's quite a few things I like about this list. There's quite a few things I don't like. I have no idea how stock it is because I haven't been keeping up with the blue-white list. I've kind of got it in my mind that like blue-white in general is just not particularly good at the moment, so I've been trying to avoid it. Um, it's just really easy to beat a control deck when it has a uh, target painted on it, and it got such a target painted on it week one that like this week is probably the earliest week I would start considering of playing it again, and probably not even this week. So, um, but I want to try it. We'll give it a go. Lyra. History is like my pet card. Hey Auburn. Hey now. What's up? It'd be kind of interesting. I feel like the online metagame's prepared to beat Blue White, so like I wouldn't expect much from it online, but maybe I'd be surprised. Just so many red, black, and white, black vehicles online, and like all those mat decks match up pretty well against blue, white. Uh, this hand is keepable. I'm not real happy to keep it, but there's so many aggro decks in this format that I actually think you can just keep a random settle. Especially when we have lands that can cycle. I know it seems greedy, but I don't think it's that bad in this format. So right off the bat, we see that we get paired versus one of these white-black decks. These decks, these white-black decks are decks that I think are designed to beat the blue-white decks. We only have one negate main, so like their histories are just so insanely good. They don't have a history though, and they didn't have a heart of Kieran, so those things are just wonderful for us. They give us a pretty large percentage. I'm also known for playing blue-white approach, so there's always a chance that people will play around settled wreckage and stuff when it comes to me. Or sorry, they'll play around sensor and stuff that are like more commonly in approach decks, which is really good for me. Let's see what he plays here, but yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and seal away the Toolcraft Exemplar because if we just get let ourselves get hit for nine, there's just no chance he's going to all-in attack on the following turn. Well, so the, the bad thing about Esper Flash is history's better than every single card in Esper Flash. So why would I want to play Esper Flash when I could just play a history deck? History is the best card in standard that, that adds a power and toughness to the board by a lot. So I just can't imagine ever not wanting to play that. I still have to get, go ahead and get rid of it, which sucks. Like I, I'm obsessed with history. Like I'm probably just wrong, but that's how good I think history is. There's a Karn, so this game's practically over. Blink of the eye, which isn't that good in this spot. I mean, it's your deck. I'll take a guide, but like...
Uh, ah, well, great. I guess you get the scrap heap because history is just too good. I'm not too concerned about the scrap heap, quote unquote, being able to come back a bunch. Like, that doesn't bother me at all. I have to take this damage. Need to blink at the Atacarn. He didn't add a counter. Oh wow, he drew history too? What do we do now? I guess we just have very few outs. I think I'm going to have to blink of an eye just on this. And he drew a Gideon? Just draw every card also off curb that I didn't give you with Karn. <sighs> That's fun. I still know he has a Scrap Heap Scrounger too. I play this and tick it up. But they've not even had a good draw. Like, this is just, this is like a pretty run of the mill draw by them. Um, so I can Gear Hulk and settle and try to sweep this up. Or I can Teferi tick up. Then bounce this, and I still have a Teferi at the end of the turn. Might be the best line we have. They probably have a cast out or something at this point. I've clicked my lands multiple times. Untap my lands, damn it. There you go. I think the knots are very good. Like, I think the knots are great. Uh, I guess I have to start by bouncing this. It's the only way to really keep our Teferi on the board. So next turn we we'll, can potentially tick down to Teferi if we want. If he'd had one more land we don't do this because then the Walking Ballista can kill our Teferi but he doesn't have the land. He does have a Scrap Heap Scrounger that we know about, though. He can replay to Gideon. Um, we have the Torrential Gear Hulk for the following turn. Ah, just working the problem. I would be shocked if that could even happen. Oh, he, he had the land. Never mind. Alright, well, he had the land. That's unfortunate. It's also kind of the best case scenario for us. Because now we just have to deal with the things in his hand and the Karn. At some point we'll draw a cast out. You can have the Toolcraft Exemplar before I'll give you the other thing. Uh, 100% disallow. So he's got a Scrap Heap Scrounger and a Toolcraft Exemplar, and he can still just play them both. Looking for love in all the wrong places.
I wonder if I can ever just Gear Hulk bounce this. It's probably just better to Gear Oh, uh, nice, nice one of Scavenging Ground. One or two of Scavenging Ground. That kind of makes our Gear Hulk completely useless. Uh, alright. Well, the Gear Hulk's useless, so. Let's see if we can get lucky and hit a settle. We did not. See if we can get lucky and hit one of our two more silhouettes. We did not. Bad times. You board out, cast out versus the Planeswalker heavy deck? Sometimes I wonder about you, Ricky. I would sideboard in more cast outs in a match like this. I would sideboard in more glimmers in a match like this. He has a scavenging grounds in play. Mainly this. He's got scavenging grounds in play. Did he minus on the card in there? I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, definitely losing pretty hard here. Like, I don't, I don't actually think we have an out. Like, maybe we can draw like settled wreckage into something, but probably not. Oh, we deado. All right, well, let's use Ricky's sideboarding guide since this is Ricky's deck. What do you say? He boards out. Commit. Teferi. Glimmer. Essence. He just like sideboards one of everything out randomly. That's a, that's a sign of you've not tested enough. Uh, you board in one seal. Two Forsake. And two Lyra. All right. I would expect you need all four Lyra in this match, but again, we'll just do Ricky sideboarding. Right, so we'll play first. Hands fine. Have the best card in our deck. And two removal spells. Yeah, I looked at it. It seemed like somebody just conceded for some reason. I'm not actually sure why. Uh, I'd rather get a search down than worry about a disallow for next turn. There's a good chance that we draw land anyway. I did exactly what you said. I took those cards out, brought these cards in. Oh, apparently I missed the search. So what did I do wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Apparently I messed something up then. Right, we'll keep that. What, what did I do wrong then? Hmm. I brought in six cards, didn't I? Cast out, scatter... Glimmer to fairy search commit. One still away. 
to Lyra. Oh, I didn't bring in the negate. I forgot the negate. And it's okay. I probably shouldn't be bringing the gate in anyway. But no, you're right. I did mess something up there. Have to put that in the graveyard because we don't have lands. You're right. I, I misread something. Yeah, that, that Black Knight's great. Considering like their best uh, pressure cards are Knights, History of Anali's, and Heart of Kieran, I'm not actually sure why we brought in extra Silloway, but that's okay. And their best removal to kill Lyra is a cast out, so I'm not sure why we removed our own cast out. And I did not die to Karn. Karn done almost nothing that game. Karn literally got him one card the entire game. Karn did nothing. He, he was not minusing Karn to get those cards. He got one card the entire game with that Karn, and I was already dead. He might have got two cards, but I was already dead. He, he might have got a card on his last turn that I wasn't paying attention because I was dead on board. I'm not actually sure. So ignore that. Ignore me saying he got one card. He may have got two. But I was dead on board anyway. What killed me in that last game was just good creatures. Alright, well we're going to play this. Not going to worry about trying to save it and protect it. We'll get it back at some point. I mean, I could understand if he was minusing Karn, but we gave him a land every turn with Karn. He got, like, a toolcraft exemplar at some point with Karn that didn't really matter. He got uh, a card on the last turn of the game, but I was already dead. Uh, I'll put that in my graveyard. I don't actually want that. Don't want that either. I may disallow the Gideon trigger. Depends on if he uses mana pre-combat or something. I think I'm just going to gamble and disallow it. They don't have a whole lot of answers to Lyra in their deck. And even if they do hit an answer to Lyra, like between our Silhouette and stuff, we have a chance to hit our own. But like, they could just play their own Lyra here. Oh, I'm just going to play a Karn. Pretty, pretty, pretty fine with my decisions then. Uh, Liliana's Death Mastery or an Angel of Sanctions. I guess we're taking Angel of Sanctions since the Liliana's Death Mastery can just get it back. Uh, I don't think I want to put that in my graveyard because we still have a Torrential Gear Hulk here. Fortunately, we have to attack Gideon first, or our Lyra doesn't get to attack anymore. Gets it back at some point, right? I guess you're right. Either way, he gets the one next turn. I think I think the angels are worse for it because of our silhouettes. Guess I supreme will here. All right, so they're done. Like we have answers in our hand already to the angel. Like he will attack with it if he plays it. All right, so let's re-correct the mistake. Sorry about overlooking that, Ricky. I thought I was doing what you said. I just messed it up. I would definitely have this other cast out in the deck. I think only having be thin in general in the 75. I think two's about right for the main deck, but I definitely like having a binding or something else in the sideboard for matches where Planeswalkers are overloading. All right, we'll keep this in. But yeah, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to ignore... Why waste the gear hook there? Because it's an attacking threat and he can have multiple planeswalkers. Like if he doesn't kill Lyra that turn and we have the gear hook and a Lyra, don't we just win? I don't think it's a waste. Like I want to cast the gear hook that turn a hundred percent just to attack with it.
Spyglass is pretty neat. I don't necessarily like it in decks like this, though. I typically like it in aggressive decks. Here. I don't like sorcery speed a whole lot either. I agree with you on that. I never even thought about it hitting Heart of Kirin. Um, no idea, Proto. I guess technically the mountain's better. Or sorry, the plains is technically better. Our opponent apparently mulliganed a bunch this game, and I didn't notice it. How many did he mulligan down to? Just down to six? Sure. Well, that's a pretty good game for us, then, if opponent mulliganed down to six. We have double Teferi in hand, and an Essence Scatter for the first Teferi. It'd be pretty hard for opponent to come back. They did mulligan on the play, and they had a practically dead card, but... I sideboard out of Karn in this match on their side of the table, but that's probably wrong too because I'm crazy. Up goes the Teferi. Not a land. Hey, Jose. What is up, my friend? Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you got to see it live. I assume opponent's about to concede. Yeah, there's the concession. Well, opponent kept a one drop, a one drop, a two drop, and two four drops. That's probably not what it takes to beat this match. Been thinking about bringing in Gideon's approach. To the main deck over some copies of Silaway to like just to fight the Heart of Kirin problem. That's not good enough. Like, I think it's pretty good versus a lot of the format. I like how we have this sweet masterpiece Torrential Gear Hulk that I randomly opened in a pity chest last night. <laughs> it was like, go, go, pity chest Gear Hulk. Just sitting there spraying water all over folk. Hey, we're on the dice. Hey, buttons! So he's probably playing a red deck. Which is uh, a bad sign for us. Um, I have to mull in this. What's buttons doing? He's zero, 0 I wonder if he's streaming. Oh, you have a large amount of SCG credit? I do not think it's worth picking up Lyra's. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep. Uh, I think I think Lyra's is pretty expensive at 35 To me, Lyra's like a 20 ish dollar card, but SCG is expensive on all of their cards, so... Oh, he knocked you out of the PTQ today? What were you both playing? I guess that's a dumb question. Because we know Buttons is playing some kind of red deck. Uh, you do know that there's people right around Wise that will probably buy your cards for a higher price than what Star City plays, right? Like, you have two stores right in this general area where you're going to college that, uh, that buy cards, and they'll typically always beat Star City prices. can't say that they'll always beat them, but I have to imagine that Sean Corp and uh, the House of Commerce will both uh, potentially beat his prices. Uh, I have no idea why he's not streaming. I kind of just want to kill this, because I think that card can actually be a problem later in the game. That's fair. That's fair. 
I was just saying, like, when you're back in town, Sean Corp, Card Cave, and the House of Commerce all buy cards. <laughs> Why not streaming? I let him know that everybody wanted him to, to play. All right, well. That would have been a good one if it resolved, so let's get it out of here. You know, the, the House of Commerce is actually just as a subsidiary of uh, Sean Corp. Uh, I think it will most certainly go down in price. Isn't the Star City price like $65 or something? Like, there's no way that's a $65 card unless I'm just insane. Uh-oh. Problemo. Yeah, he didn't tap this. He gets the black mana no matter what, so I guess... Am I supposed to Essence Scatter then? I don't know if I'm supposed to even bother to waste my Essence Scatter here. Wait, what are we looking at? People are, I think I missed some messages somewhere. Three workshops for 80% value a few years back. That's pretty sick. Uh, Sean Corp will buy, would probably buy them at 80%. Uh, I'll remind me, uh, Nick, and I'll send you a link to their, uh, to their information. Just send me a Facebook to remind you, Nick. I mean, if I scatter it, he literally just buys it immediately back, right? But I guess if he immediately buys it back, we can fumigate it on the next turn. And then he doesn't have a second creature for it, but like the odds of him having one seem pretty high. I need to draw to fairy or something. Well, we know he's drawing Chandra this turn, which is a problem. I don't know how we're going to beat a Chandra and his board. So I'm just putting both of these on the bottom. That was close. I don't know how we beat a Chandra and the board. There's a Teferi. Does Teferi do anything now? Um, because I wanted to hit my land drop. Do you do anything now, Teferi? Teferi bounce heart go to one doesn't seem particularly good. Hey, Lodge, what's up? The Storic's not bad. It's a deck I want to explore more. We can play Fumigate and Tick Up and be at one as well. Like, both of these cards put us at one. Which one's better for the next turn? Teferi means... I guess I'm going to play this one. Hey, Parliament. Oh, maybe they'll attack the Teferi if we do this. It might end up giving us more life in the end. I can't target the Chandra, though. I have to target the Heart of Kieran. I think. Too many things crew to Heart of Kieran. Uh, I don't think approach is needed anymore. I think the fairy uh I think the fairy just wins easier than approach. Oh, he's got a second Heart of Kieran. Rip. 
What can we do to beat that? Well, it's not that, folks. Can't really play around anything either, so we're just going to scoop. I don't even think they have to draw very hot. Um. So versus red, we're probably sideboarding out this thing. Well, let's, let's see what we're sideboarding in first. Um, we're definitely sideboarding in these, I think. Probably this. Probably these. Actually, think for sake the world is good versus these guys. Took two days for cars to get here from California to Wisconsin. They've sat in Wisconsin for two days. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, things that I don't think are great. Probably to commit. Probably some glimmers. Probably some teferis. I don't like glimmer matches like this. It's one of the reasons I play illumination in my main deck over glimmer. Um. I don't remember what you told me earlier. Honestly, I have no idea what you told me earlier. Let's sideboard this thing out too. I actually don't think this card's very good. Um, Flat Earthers Love. I think I think the gates are okay, but we just have so many cards I already don't want. Alright, we'll hit this. Uh God, this hand's bad. I think I want Mulligan again. Hello everyone, my name is Buttons. Alright, we'll keep this hand. This hand seems reasonable. Putting anything on the bottom of my library that's not exactly a land. <laughs> buttons buttons just straight straight beating on us. Right on time authority of the councils. Oh, you didn't have a two drop. All right, well, I guess I'm cycling something. I guess I'm going to cycle this one. I guess I'm going to cycle this one. Rip. That's fair, Proto. Could have held up the Silloway, but... We don't hit lands, we can't win, so. You're also not a land. You are. You're just not very good right now. So, if he has any 4-drop, we probably lose. Doomfall. Alright, well, at least we don't care about that card. That card does not do much here. Hey, Latin Master, thank you for the follow, man. Just now saw it. Don't know what he's going to take. 
I guess it depends on how powerful his hand is. He's not played a land yet this turn, so that means like he's got five spells in his hand. That means we're probably all kind of good. He took the Glimmer. It's probably the card I was furthest from casting in this hand. That's kind of interesting. He still has five cards in his hand. I think I'm just going to pass then. I don't think I'm particularly likely to want to use Silhouette this turn. I'm going to take my four damage. Cast the Supreme Will. Actually, I probably won't even cast the Supreme Will. Chain Whirler. I guess that deserves a counter spell. Hey, Dong, what's up, my friend? I think I have to take the damage yet again. Just because of our mana woes. He resolves one thing, we're pretty much going to die anyway, so... It seems like this Supreme Will kind of matters here. Might use a removal spell on it. If he does, that would suck because he can buy it back. Oh, well, we hit a land. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we need a land now. Our opponent has five spells in his hand. Our opponent literally has five spells in his hand. Yeah, Dominary is pretty good. They say the limited format's great. I've not played a whole lot of it, but supposedly it's great. City of Traders and True TNS. What is TNS? I have no idea what TNS is. The next Smurf? Fault Not Seer, maybe? Could be Fault Not Seer. If so, there's a decent amount of value in that pack. Two Karns in your Sealed Pool. Well, that's, that's just not remotely fair. That's also worth a lot of money. Uh, so how do we win? Yeah. The moment Courier did a lot. <laughs> it, hit, it hit us for seven damage. Probably not, Geo. Oh, cool! Another another Chandra. Unfortunately, it's not Karn. It's just never Karn.
What do we even need to stabilize here? We need to draw exactly one of our two cast outs. Because this deck struggles with resolve spells. Suck it, Beaumont. Ah, Goblin Chain. Oh, okay. Thought it was a Goblin Chain Whirler for a second. Alright, well, Button Smash this. That's two for two in matches that I would say were not favored versus in this league. How many How many more uh, can we get paired versus? No, I think the gate's good in that match. I would sideboard more negates in. Your sideboard guy did not have more negates. Uh, one and one. We might be getting the pity concession. Since our opponent's 0-3 and then asking about our record. <laughs> I'm talking, I'm talking the smack. I can't play that good on stream. Just gonna tell my opponent I'm the best around. That passed me as a fool. Alright, so opponent's doing my thing. He just wants to play the match, but he says he'll concede at the end. Someone give me a free win. I get free wins away all the time. I kind of easily keep the hand of blue mana. And, uh... But I won't keep the... <laughs> what? No! Oh, we had a good chance for a second. Now I don't like our chances as much. I kind of want to try these Heart of Kirin decks. There's something to these Heart of Kirin blue decks. I don't exactly know what it is, but there's something to them. Chad is very toxic. I need more. What is this? I can't even counterspell that, can I? Well, that's the, <laughs> that, that's that's pretty annoying. All right, you can have another heart carry in then, friend. Oh, why didn't I give him a settled wreckage? I just like did not give him the settled wreckage for no reason. For just absolutely no reason, I didn't give him a settled wreckage there. Your guess is as good as mine while I didn't. Don't have any idea. Hey, there is a castable counterspell. And a way to acquire a white mana finally. Alright. We're back in business, friends. Ha! I will not allow that. In fact, I will disallow that. If you had a spell pierce, by the way, I would just I would just sink my hands or my head into my hands. Get. Not keeping anything that's not a white man or a hard counter spell. Sure wish he had a settled wreckage in his hand instead of that uh that heart of Kieran that I gave him because I'm not very bright. 
No! Opponent! Kind of want to use the filter runes there, but I don't want to give him an opportunity to, uh, like, negate this or something. Folks, the Moz. That's kind of weird. The heart or the Teferi moved when its trigger was on the stack underneath the cast out. It's just like graphically weird. All right, away you go, land. Looking for hard counter spells. That's not a hard counter spell. It's kind of good though. Have no idea, Nick. I was told a bunch of different decks, but like I'm not there, so. Not sure. Uh, well, that resolves. I assume we're just dead. Do I just take four damage here? Sure. What's four damage among friends? Go and grab a second white. I have no idea what you're linking. I will not open it on stream just in case. So we get to flip the search fast canto whether the glimmer resolves or not. Which is sweet. I will hide their heart of curing with it. Homie, please, not that. So many things I have to beat. Uh, this is so many things I have to beat. We'll keep the Teferi. I guess that goes to the graveyard at this point. Kind of need another mana before I play the fairy, don't I? I'm just dead if they have a counter spell here. The odds of them having a counter spell seem relatively high. They only have three cards in the hand we don't know about, though, so. Well, I don't have enough mana for all of that, Murph. If we bounce to fairy, we don't get to untap anything. This kind of sucks because I gave them this other heart of Kieran because I'm a dum dum. What's that one do? That one gets her to fairy back, I guess.
That's actually really sweet. Not, uh... Yeah, we're, we're, we're in pretty bad shape. But they can't use that this turn, so I guess that's something. Um... Tuck and pray. Yeah, I'm definitely tucking and praying. I'm just trying to decide whether I'm tucking a cast out or whether I'm tucking a Teferi. I think I'm tucking the Teferi. I think I'm tucking a Teferi. I do have an essence scatter for just a creature, so as long as it's not a planeswalker, we're okay. And if it is a planeswalker, we at least get to use Ascanta. Oh, wow, he doesn't have anything? He could have another cast out, but there's nothing we can do about another cast out anyway, so. Uh, I will take a Glimmer. He pressed F6, too. Yes, it is technically Sunday. Uh, we'll take the Disallow. <laughs> yes, you. I guess you put your trash out to the curb way too early. Then should have tapped the rivulets, but I think we might have stabilized. There's three cards in his hand. I'm not sure what they are. Our top play and no mistakes might have stabilized for us. I don't care if he has a uh, cast out now. Top, bottom. Kind of want to draw some lands. I have a bunch of counter spells now. All the way out even after you had an emblem? You never asked me, Nick. What the hell? I love Columbus. I love Roanoke. Why would you not take me somewhere? I'm also currently dying of tetanus, so I would not make a good uh, I would not make a good roommate since I won't be around like longer in the next three weeks or so. Just because I'm doing what the time yeah. Hey well, the clock is part of Modo. You don't know me. Put that on top, that on bottom. I just kind of want land here. What? What did Murph do this time? Ah, somebody's just banning Murph for the fun of it. Oh, it was Ace. <laughs> no, 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 no worries. 
It was just like, oh, somebody else manning Murph, what's new? Somebody else manning Murph, what's new? Nothing's ever new. Bonus done. Alright. Well, I guess we want these things. We may want this, and we may want these. What don't I want? I don't want white cards. I don't want the majority of my white cards. Kind of want a couple of Lyra's just because Ricky likes them so much. This card's been absolutely terrible for me in these matches. I don't think I like Supreme Will in these matches though. Alright, we're back to having the blink of the eye. What's going on now? Uh, okay, we'll mull it. Keep. Bottom. He deciding to go home is always an out. Man, my chat's toxic tonight. Murph getting banned like it's 1997. Why'd I leave these essence scatters in my deck? The opponent didn't show me anything to use essence scatters, but I have to imagine he's got like the little flash bro and stuff, right? If he's playing Heart of Kieran. Maybe I shouldn't have kept him. Maybe that was just too much. I guess they could just be Supreme Wills. And another Lyra, maybe? At least I'm not missing a land drop for a while. Classic Murph. Cussing people out and getting banned. Just Murph things. Pretty excited for the Grand Prix coverage tonight. Dovin Frindo. I can't do anything about the Dovin Frindo. No, don't gain life and draw cards. Opened one of these in a pack the other day. Don't ask me why I was opening packs. It was mainly because I'm insane. Oh, you're going to be in bed, Mr. Nick. What is this? I need just minus again. Oh, yeah. Never miss a land drop. Proto, because my local store can't get any Dominaria packs, and I was trying to scratch an itch, and I had like. I don't know, like a hundo bucks a store credit or whatever, and I was just like YOLO. Alright, I'm just casting this thing. I will attack a Dovin with it if it resolves. I like going up with it when you have control of the game, but I think it starts around, it either starts between, sometimes between 3.30 a.m. and 4.30 a.m. our time, Rob. Attack you, Dovin. Hmm. 
Brother Bear. Why would you do such? I fair enough behind just to slam this and not care. I think I'm far enough behind just to slam this and not care. JK. I cared. I want it back. Nah, definitely not 30 minutes from now, Rob. I got two more rounds to do. Yeah, but they didn't really get an order in the first time was the problem. Like, their first order was pretty bad. If only our opponent would play a search for Ascanta, maybe we can get some value out of this. <laughs> I think it could. They could have a search. You don't know. Opponent, I didn't cast a counter spell. That means I clearly has no counter spell. You can you can resolve your Teferi and beat me now. If only this could exile a planeswalker. Really? At 45? That's sick. Hey, next turn we'll have a natural arch of whatever you call this without drawing an extra card the entire game. <laughs> I don't think Karn's worth that, but it would be nice to sell him now at 45. I need to buy some Karns too. That's an issue. I want to redeem somewhere between 4 and 12 sets in a week or two. No. Oh, God. I believe I have been defeated, opponent. I regret nothing. I believe I have been defeated. Whew. I was doing sweet things. But he'll never be prepared for me casting this approach, right? Wait, is this a May? Oh, no, you can just target a land, though. Okay, cool. Hey, we have a card in this deck tonight. Maybe I'll sideboard it in this game. Oh, yeah. You got this until then, Rob. This is going to be on for a while. Can I concede yet? I think if he counterspells this for sake of the worldly, we're just done here. I also think we're just done here anyway, because he can already ultimate this, and he's one turn off ultimating this. I'm going to play exactly... Until I untap my one permanent next turn, or is it two? Do I get two? I get two permanents. I will untap two permanents next turn and then concede. Get it. Suck it, Ofa Teferi. Look at all that value. No! Don't blink your Ova to Fairy. That's really good. All right, I take it back, opponent. Oh, opponent can ultimate both of these this turn. How sweet is this? I let our opponent have his fun. I'm gonna let opponent ultimate his two planeswalkers, and then I'll scoop. Yes, untap a land, having a gate back up. Ooh boy. 
You can even take this up and then ultimate. Boom. Could have just ult ultimated this and killed two lands too with that. Which would have been sweet. Wait. You didn't ultimate this yet. There we go. Alright, you got me opponent. Yep, if they if they win game three, I'm definitely gonna remind them. I guess I'll bring these two in then. They just don't have anything for these bros. I'll bring this in and we're Gucci. That was game two. I kind of want to start drawing first in these matches. Uh, I don't know. E price to fairy hero. Well, screw you. Copy paste. E price. It is worth da -da 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 -da, fourteen tickets. The card feels like it's worth more than fourteen tickets to me. <laughs> Sander's really expensive right now because almost every deck's out of playing Teferi, History of Benali, or uh, Karn. And Karn's off the charts expensive. Pretty glad that I sold my Scarab Gods when I did. I'm not going to cycle this Supreme Wheel just because he's got multiple four walk plane or four mana planeswalkers, and like there's some world where I need to counterspell one. Screw Victor French. Do like Highway to Heaven though. Um, Lodge, I might would wait till the end of week, uh, to the end of the weekend to see if it like goes crazy at the top eight, but I would be, I would be looking to sell. I'd be keeping, I'd be keeping my eye on starting to thinking about selling now, but like, you never know. It could just like blow up this weekend, right? Could be like 10 million of them top eight or something. They are a standard Grand Prix. Alright, we'll take a hard counter spell. Should have ordered those. There's like some chance that I get back to the Lyra. Hey, Andy. Yeah, Karn, uh, Black White won the PTQ, I think. I don't know the other top 8 decks of the PTQ, though. Karn's a good card. It's hard for me to imagine that Wizards would allow a fifty or sixty dollars standard card after, um, after like the past two years of bad standard formats. It feels to me like that's just something they would uh, ban or like put in some kind of supplemental product or something just because people would be complaining so much. But maybe maybe that's just inaccurate. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Just don't want to tap my mana ever versus them, do I? They have to give a fuck, don't they? Like, so few people are playing standard, it feels to me like they have to care. Like, it's one of their big money makers. Counterspell, please? That's not a counterspell. Rip. What if I jumped a gun on that too early? What's the odds that I should have just played Karn there? I 
kind of chose not to play Karn primarily because next turn I'd be able to play Karn and Smile. I don't know. Like play Karn and something. Play two frets next turn if I keep it. You could be right though. Like they didn't care in the past when Jace was a million dollars. I just I just feel like Wizards is gonna have some uh, pretty disgruntled people in higher management if like another standard season's like just really bad. Like at some point there has to be a breaking point, right? The card's definitely worse than Jace. I guess that's just not even close. Oh, Karn's probably not worse than Baby Jace. I don't think I want to play anything here. Yeah, Vern's Prodigy was pretty insane. Maybe I'm not supposed to play Karn after I draw to Negate because then I would have Negate plus Torrential Gear Hulk. I could have just played this game real poorly. I feel like I've been talking more than paying attention. I think I've been like kind of on autopilot and not making relatively good decisions. That's kind of neat. My glimmer resolves. I can get Bay back. Kind of don't want to land. I guess I don't want this glimmer at the moment. At what point do I start down ticking Karn? I can play Torrential Gear Hulk and, uh. Sorry, I can play Teferi and Lyra here. Assuming he has a negate, and if he doesn't have a negate, I can tick it up and have a uh, Torrential Gear Hulk back. Pulling us down to 8 minutes and change, uh, we could have probably easily timed him out if we hadn't scooped last game. Wait, what was that? Oh, he did that uptake, sure. I'm probably just going to try to cast this this turn on something. Uh, you get another land, friendo. Surprisingly, we're deeper in our deck than our opponent is into his deck. Which is kind of just mind-blowing if you think about it. Alright. Well, I guess we can't play this because if he has Ofa to Fairy, we get pretty screwed. So we have to actually just let that resolve, right? Ofa to Fairy is the prize card for him at the moment. We have to work through these other problems in other manners. I 
think we're like really far behind because we still have four lands in our hand. Did the opponent play a land this turn? Did I miss it? Yeah, he played an island. There's a good chance that there's going to be a cast out or something here, but maybe not. Blue White Super Friends. It's kind of sweet. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely digging it. He's got cooler looking glacial fortresses than us too. What the hell is this? Ah, sure, it's just a cast out. Uh, I guess we want our cast out. Guess I want my Gleamer? I don't actually know about the Gleamer. The Gleamer might have been too much. Hey, cool. We actually get a real card here. Um, so it's worth zero. Guess I want to play this one. Just have to discard Lyra in the face of this, don't I? I guess I could discard a field of rune. It's not like I'm ever going to run out of lands at this point. And maybe Lyra does something later. Played the planes that we've saw, so. Kind of still amazed that we're just deeper into our deck than our opponent is into his deck. So you're getting a 27? That's pretty nice. Ooh. Alright, opponents decided to do something new with Karn. I guess they lack their hand a lot. My card does no damage. I've not used Dovin Bond yet. I feel like I would have drew a card before I did the other abilities. Heart of Kieran. That's a good but annoying card. Well, I guess I'm going to start with this. Honestly, have no idea what I'm going to target if he lets it resolve. Just have zero idea what I want to target. Guess I'm going to target his cast out. Or cast out, yeah. Get back Forsake the Worldly or something.
He's targeting. But he's targeting his own cast out. Sure. This turn is just odd. Is he going to target now? So I could just bounce this to his hand and then keep my Teferi, which seems probably like the best idea. Because I'm more interested in killing his stuff now than I am resolving my stuff. Uh, I've not loved it, but it seems okay. Like, my go here is just to start killing planeswalkers. Get our hard counter spell back. We have to start with attacking Gideon first, because Gideon's the one that says the rest of my stuff don't attack. Seems like it's kind of just worse than a commit to me, but it's not always bad. I think I've used everything. I think, uh, I think I've got a good handle on this game now. we got three different counter spells we can cast. I don't really care if he kills his Planeswalker to bounce something. I'm a little worried about milling myself, but that's about it. If I if I bling my own cast out, uh, I have to worry about him having a counter spell when I replay it. Which is something I've been trying to avoid with that. We're deeper in our deck to him, so we have to make sure we don't mill ourselves. Smurf is the same. You've made it when Smurf shows up. Oh, God. <laughs> Except he's just a great troll. <laughs> Our opponent's down to 2 minutes and 50 seconds. I'll be absolutely shocked if we don't win this game. Just based on time. Though I actually think we're doing well to win... I think we're doing well in just, in just terms of the game itself. What in the heck is this? Wow, you can steal Planeswalkers with that. That's pretty neat. And it costs a lot of mana, so let's put it back in your deck. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that the red decks seem like they're good versus snakes. Like, I wouldn't have guessed that from the outside looking in, but I've watched uh, enough of uh, Misplaced Ginger playing to, like, you know, to, like, see it firsthand. I'm just surprised by it. Not when I show up. Construct. Oh, Constructor. 
I played that last night on stream. That deck was real fun. That deck was definitely real fun. Because I just don't want any of these cards, so I'm going to take it up. Could have made a little bro, but like a little bro doesn't seem like it does much. Uh, attack to fairy. That's the one that he kind of has to block. Actually, we're just not going to let him block, are we? Yeah, I've I've not been a fan of the impulses. They 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 were not working out particularly well for me. All right, have we got rid of problem number one? It's looking good for getting rid of problem number one. Blink. No way. Don't like wasting a disallow on this, but I really want us to fairy gone. Opponent type GG's. I guess he's done. He's d he's down to like 90 seconds, so he wasn't going to win anyway. I don't think. Oh wow, he does have Spell Pierce. That's an interesting card to bring in a match like this that... Uh, like, where we're potentially going to have just thousands of mana on both sides of the table. I think we were, like, pretty far ahead on board, though. We still have another hard counter spell in our hand. We could have played Lyra that turn, but... He gets his bolus back here. I don't actually care if he takes anything of mine other than the fairy with the bolus, though. So I'm just going to give him the Gideon of Trials. Thought about giving him the bolus there for a second, but I think the Gideon's just worse. Because the Gideon I can attack. Oh, wow. That's, uh... That's actually a reasonable card. I'm going to let it resolve. I'm not going to waste my last hard counter spell on it. Not really concerned if he gets to draw another card or two. I guess in this situation he gets to use the Karn to minus it to put the Embolus' Chant back in his hand. But he has to have a negate to go with it or that's not great. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure it will time out, but I also just don't think that it'll uh, survive. So we're probably going to start minusing Karn and just putting a bunch of tokens out. Opponent's down to 30 seconds at this point as well. Did he not use this twice? Oh no, he ulted Gideon once. Uh, attack to Gideon. I messed up. I should have attacked with this as well, but I should have killed Dovin. Just trying to play too fast there. Since me timing out is really the only way I'm losing at this point. Don't care a whole lot if he resolves that. Care just enough to like try to counterspell it, but don't care don't care a lot. Yeah, I probably shouldn't negate. Hold us down to six seconds, though, so. I 
I don't know why I'm even going through my effects. Just having my fun. Alright, so you can attack one, you can attack the other, everything else attacks face. We have multiple hard counter spells still. I wonder if he's just going to F6 and let me go to my next attack step. He did. He did F6 and just let me go to my next attack step. We could have killed him if we just played the Gear Hulk. <laughs> we just done the math and played the Gear Hulk. We could have killed him. Because it's fun. Now the 10 cards in our library. We could come close to milling our opponent out here. Well, I, I did. I did paying a little bit of attention, but like I was keeping, uh, I was keeping track of their life total. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd stop ticking Teferi up when I when we were just f sixing through those turns. But yeah, I know, I know Teferi. Uh, when you ultimate, it just kills people. But you have you have to be able to resolve the ultimate, right? And like at this point in the game, you just assume he has a bunch of negates. So I don't I don't know if I would even resolve the second Teferi. Like we only had uh one disallow We had one disallow, one negate, and one gear hulk in our entire deck. So like we we may not be able to resolve the second Teferi. Or the third Teferi or something. Because he certainly used less hard counter spells than us. He'd only use two negates. He'd use like no disallows or anything. But yeah, I know I know that Teferi can win the game by itself if you're able to keep recasting it. I had to teach my friend that uh, it was first Friday Night Magic. He'd like already 5-0'd a few leagues and everything and just didn't know yet. Which kind of entertained me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we sold some Savage Stumps on eBay, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. That is true, Murph. I'll send my buddy Nick a message, because he didn't send me a message like I asked him to. Uh, I'm not going to keep this hand. We're going to ship it. We're paired versus Swiss Butter, though, so. Alright, I'll keep this hand. It's pretty bad. I actually like our first hand more than this, but. Eating short ribs. Why you got to be like that? Why can't you eat tall ribs? I guess I'll keep that. I don't know why I want it, but. Huh. You don't see very many uh, blue-red decks running around. Did, did I say its name wrong? This is Savage Stomp, ain't it? I'm not just wrong, am I? Wouldn't surprise me, I guess. I'm wrong about a lot of things. No, it's Savage Stomp. Eh. 
And to answer your question, since people are asking for prices, it sold for about a buck fifty for a playset. Wow, he didn't attack. Feels good, man. Or as my friend Joshua would say, Phil's John Goodman. You should sack and do a point of damage to me of that walkie boy. Hey, you gotta get your money where you can get your money. You sell a bunch of those play sets and you profit like 15 cents each or something after shipping and fees. It's great. Take 15 cents as opposed to throw something in a box. Am I going to cast out that thing? Or am I going to supreme will for a land? I think I'm going to supreme will for a land. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get to make very much money on cheap sales. It's like 80 cents shipping, 2.5 cents for a top loader. Um, they take 13%. Well, it's, it's 80 cents shipping with the 30 cents PayPal fee. Actually, that's the profit, or that's the after fees, rather. So it's technically 36 cents. After the fees, the shipping, the envelope, and the top loaders. Technically, I didn't add in the ink for the invoice, but or the print on the envelope, but screw that. I'm not doing that type of math. Hey, Max, what it is, my friend. But yeah, it's not worth a lot of money, but like I said, you know, when you're ordering... Uh, Dozens of sets online and breaking them apart, like, all of that stuff's worth something, right? If I sell 100 play sets like that, that's a 30 bucks or something. I kind of just want to go ahead and throw a cast out on this, because I have to at some point anyway. But that's just the father. The fodder. Yeah, yeah, you make more money that way than you do just selling tickets. Like it, it's it's more profitable to do that than make tickets. It's something like something like twenty six percent ROI or something like that. Um, well, I mean, it'd still probably be worth it even if I had to sort the cards because I would be sorting the cards anyway to sell the other, you know, the relevant cards. And I don't own a store or anything, so like I can't move that card, those type of cards anywhere else. So like they literally just get sewed off as bulk, if not. And I'm pretty anal about, or that's not the word I say. I'm pretty OCD about how I sell or sort cards. So shouldn't have said anal. It's pretty nice if I mean if you don't have anything to do but free time like I just when I watch streams and stuff that's what I do I just sort things post things either on eBay or TCG yeah I'd probably be less in the maxing value if I wasn't absurdly poor it looks like it looks like what they're playing I think my buddy uh I think Local Dope played something similar. I kind of want to play this Torrential Gear Hulk, but I'm afraid that they'll have an Essence Scatter, so I think I'm just going to pop the first Disallow. Just don't want to get slapped by an Essence Scatter on that turn. Yeah, try, trying to build it up into something bigger. Of course. My friend just bought a store or is buying a store. I guess he technically doesn't have it yet. He takes over operations this week, but I don't think he becomes the official owner till like the end of the month or something. That is what I also want to do. I kind of just want to use this one here. Nah. Let me just use this one. 
in case he has a follow-up Chandra or something. It's kind of weird. He's already played multiple lands that don't produce red mana, though. Starting to think our opponent just isn't going to have counter spells pre-board. Unless they are exactly Essence Scatter, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of the old dream, Max. I'm jealous of you. How much did you get out of it? All right. I'm actually looking for two more lightly played beta elves. Um, the last ones I sold were selling in the eighty to hundred dollar range, so I'm gonna guess right in the middle and say ninety. The the last one I bought I picked up for twenty seven. I was pretty happy. It's only moderately played the one I got for 27, though. Huh. They shouldn't have bought it at 90. Wow, why shouldn't they have bought it at 90? 90 sweet, man. So we have three Fumigates now. I, hell, I'd give you 60 for one, and I'd be buying it to resell, I think. I kind of just want to let that resolve so I can play a Fumigate. Oh, 90 credit. Fair. Still a good price. What is this thing? Memory? I do not want you to get extra cards. Beta pools and basic swamps with Chain Whirly Boy. Alright, opponents done. Thank goodness, because I was sure worried about them having a Planeswalker. Well, he showed us a whole lot of attacky things, so we're definitely going to want this thing. We're probably going to want some number of these, maybe not all of them. Really don't know what our opponent's playing yet. Um, it's just like he's playing like some kind of like weird, weird thing. I don't think I want this. I think I'm going to shave on one of these. Shave on one of these. I don't know how many frets they have that's going to make me want these authorities. Right, we're going to try the authorities just because they showed us that many red stuff. You take out some sweepers. Um, Black white aggro to won the uh, PTQ. Just felt like they're going to have like a whole bunch of Beaumonts and crap. They didn't show us that many spells. I'm expecting things like Kari Zevs and Beaumonts and crap, but maybe, maybe, maybe it's not what he's playing. If you sob in authority, you're never coming back. I really just think he's like, I really just think he's like a red deck wins deck, but maybe I'm wrong. With like a weird splash. I mean, every card he showed us, he showed us Goblin Chain Whirlers or Braids, Glory Bringers, and one commit. Like, I've already pressed F6. Boom.
be interested to see what our opponent's actually playing. <laughs> you think so? You think he just splashed for Chain Whirler? Like, it seems like it's worse to me than Whirler Virtuoso in that type of deck, anyway. Eh, I've been wrong before. A second one of those, homie. Yeah, I think, uh, if I was guessing, I would say that the black-red decks are favored versus it, too. Well, I don't want either of you. We just want lands. Well, there is lands. What do we want now? High impact play, go. I agree with you there, too. It's my favorite deck in the format I've played so far, but it feels to me like it just has some large hoes that aren't being exploited yet. Casting this Lyra was probably pretty bad. Should have almost definitely cast a fairy and ticked up, but I was a little bit afraid of negate. This is a Scarab God. Scarab God goes really well with the Silloway. I think it's really good versus the blue white deck as well. I think that's one of the reasons it like just jumped out of the house. kind of sucks because a chain whirler can finish off the Teferi, but it spends the majority of his mana if he does have that. It's a good chance opponent has like Veraska's Contempt for Lyra as well. Contempt plus a uh, Chain Whirler. Oh boy, would that be brutal. <laughs> Speaking of which, has he played a land this turn? Uh, that's important, I guess. Yes, he's played a land this turn, so he can have the Contempt. If he hadn't played a land, he couldn't have the Contempt. I think Karn's good, but it's not as good as people act like it is. That's my impression of the card anyway. Let's start with this. So it's kind of a weird spot. So we know he has a Veraska's Contempt, and there's nothing we can do to actually protect our Teferi at this point. <laughs> but dude, it gives all angels plus one plus one, and then it would have double lifelink. Double life link's pretty good. All right, I choose your face. Attacking Karn's not going to get me anywhere.
needed one more mana to do everything that I wanted to do. He doesn't have any energy to draw with Glint, though, so I guess that's good. Unfortunately, he gets to flip the Bloodfast here. I'd say the opponent's in pretty good shape. They do have another Lyra, but... Huh. I haven't really thought about using Whirler Virtuoso plus Karn to make, like, bigger dudes. Feel like we're just dead. Definitely feel like we're just dead. I'm not going to use the Settled Wreckage here. It doesn't get me anywhere. I'd rather play the Torrential Gear Hulk and try to Glimmer. Um, you get the land. We'll get, we'll probably get around to that at some point. I think I'm playing the Trenchal Gear Hulk this turn, though. I don't even know what I'm really looking for here. I guess this allows, but I mean, he's going to contempt something, so. Hopefully he doesn't have an abrade too. Well, could just cast Fumigate, stops him from drawing a card. Not sure how we win if we do that. I'm not sure how we win if we do a lot of things right now. Alright. I guess I'm going to try to get lucky and settle here. I have to imagine when he has this many cars, that's not going to get me very far, though. I uh, have no idea, Max. Somewhere between 3.30 a.m. on my time and 4.30 a.m. on my time, I think. Spyglass? You can have a Spyglass. There's nothing in my deck I care about. You do get to see my hand and play around it, but that and that sucks. But it's nothing I'm concerned about at the moment. Basically, I have other problems to worry about first.
The opponent's definitely just playing Grixis Control. It's looking pretty good to me, this game. I choose you. I'm not really getting anywhere fast, am I? I will essence scatter anything that has a power and toughness that you can play. I know. You could have more things of power and toughnesses. Our opponent's only like eight cards ahead of us. Not that many, right? Smash your face. You're welcome, opponent. Boom. Play another big booty daddy. Doesn't really do any good to protect this one because next turn he can minus to get either the duress or the Vraska's contempt. So if we're tapped out, it just doesn't do anything. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, like I said, doesn't do anything, so. We'll spin the damn wheel of this game. You just wait. Oh, it has so many more lands than us. What does spinning the wheel do? Does it do stone nothing? We're like really far behind this game. We cyborged pretty badly too. No. Don't put cards from like places in, in stuffs. Uh, he got the contempt. That's probably a bad sign. This is my last spell. Please, please, please don't embarrassingly get rid of it. Ah, uh, that's the opponent embarrassingly got rid of it. All right. Looks like we're spinning the wheel this game. Spinning the wheel's fun. It might resolve. You don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to fumigate. Huh. Alright, not spinning the wheel anymore. I drew this thing. I choose you. Guess he's gonna just have another card or something. This 
So we got one hand, we got one, uh, one car. Oh, oh, God, no. I hear that's good. Silloy? Boom. Get out the way. Yeah, I'm going to try to disallow that. At this point, like, he's 33 cards deep into his deck. He's got to have another useful blue spell, right? He just has to have another useful blue spell. Hey, he did. He did have another useful blue spell. Well, that's unfortunate. I own the prize, though, team. New cards? Huh. Any gates that we have in our deck? We have one negate in our deck. Rip. We lost at gambling. We lost at our 1 in 34 chance. Do, 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 do. If he buys back this, uh. Yeah, well, he's already bought it back. I feel like I have to sideboard out Gear Hulks and stuff now. I know for a fact he's a Scarab God deck now, so like every creature in our sideboard just makes me feel like I'm going to lose. Kind of weird that he bought that back then. And he's got Chandra's. Don't know how we win this match. This match seems miserable. Counterspell? Alright, well, we're probably not dead at least. We're just pretty darn close. Oh, no, I had F6 pressed. Rip. Now I'm just dead. Well, now, now we're just dead. I don't think any of our stuff would have resolved anyway, but still... Still alive. Unless they have Walkie B. Oh, they just have another Chandra. That's unfortunate. Well, let's mill them for eight and see what else is in their deck that might help us make some decisions sideboard wise.
They have at least four two mana hard counter spells. They have at least double duress. They have at least double blood fast. This does not seem like a winnable match. Well, this does not seem like a match we can consistently win. I'll rephrase. Uh, they have at least one more basic as well. Not good. Alright, so... Don't want the Torrential Gear Hulks at all. Kind of want this card. I think it does things here, but World of Virtuoso just like completely blanks it. Definitely want this now. Let's scoot these little bastards over here and think about them. We definitely don't want these. So we sideboarded pretty miserably. Um, these seem reasonable, this seems reasonable, this seems reasonable, these seem reasonable. These are the cards that seem reasonable. Now just because it seems reasonable doesn't mean that they're, obviously they all can't fit in the deck. So let's think about this for a bit. This, don't think we're very likely to win with, uh, Lyra or Teferi, which is a problem. I just don't think Lyra or Teferi is going to do a lot in this match. Seems like it's going to be really, really hard to protect Teferi versus them. Um... They also have a commit in memory, which makes the fairy seem like it's just worse. I don't think I want Supreme Wheels in a control match. Maybe I just don't want these histories either. Maybe they're not good enough. Like I'm looking at the histories, and I'm looking at the Karn. Get rid of some of those. Alright, I guess we'll try this. Yeah, milling them would be my number one plan, but I don't even have four rivulets. I only have three. Alright, we'll keep this hand. This hand's about as good as we can hope to get. We're gonna try. I don't I don't think it's gonna work. They've showed us uh World of Virtuosos, so. I don't think it's a very reasonable plan, but it seems like it's a better plan than some of our other options. Feels like we don't have a lot of tools versus this match in general. Oh, well, I can't, I can't get rid of that. All right. Show us the world of Virtuoso, and then we dead, friend. The cool thing about the Knights is at least I'll have two of them so the Glint doesn't get to go too crazy. Kind of hope he blocks here. All right, well, we've got past step one. Past step one. Anything that I can negate, I would negate here. Prematurely cast this, but we don't really have anything else going on, so. They might have to spend their entire next turn killing it or something. Which would be nice. 
They don't like, I feel like if you want to put history in your sideboard, you need to put four of them in your sideboard or none, because two of them just don't feel good enough to me. Alright, I guess we can press F6 now. Opponent's going to use that on Teferi, but we'll, we can draw a cast out at some point in the game. And we have the only creature on the table, so I guess it does something. It doesn't do a great deal, though, does it? Argyle's Bloodfast. I think I'll let that resolve. I think it's more important to try to cast my Glimmer. It's actually kind of good for me. Uh, sad thing is I want both of these cards, but missing a land this turn is so brutal that I can't even risk it. Anything that takes a large portion of mana is something I would use a disallow on right now. Alright, five turns, little knight. You can do it. You can do what little homies do. How good would another history lesson have been just instead of this settled or wreckage? Do you have double hard counter spell though, and he may need to use this. Say we're running out of options here though. Say there's a good chance that this turn he's gonna like try to resolve a spell with a counter spell back up. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I have no other option than to try to counter spell that. Come on, cast out. You can do it. You're not a cast out. Rip. I thought he sideboarded those out. We didn't see any in an extremely long game, too. Uh, I guess we pass now. Probably Glimmer whenever he uses the Bloodfast. I assume he uses Bloodfast here. Bottom top. Now he gets to flip his bro. That makes things a lot harder. The fairy is the only card we have in our deck that can actually win a game. Other than an extremely lone game and a rivulet. I think we let him draw there. That gives us the opportunity to draw Field of Rune and it be off the chain. Well, that's a pretty dead card. Build a room? Well, not a pretty medium card in this spot. Because whenever he wins, he's going to come back and win by miles. He's not going to win by inches, so settles don't really do anything. Uh, 
Um, I think I'm going to cycle that. Just really have to find our cast outs and or our field of rune here. Or search for Ascanta, but I think we've already put our search on the bottom. negate that's helpful but not great and it's gonna be hard to time him out he still has four minutes left he gets to press f6 more than we do because we always have to keep our mana up so What is this, friendo? Hopefully it's something we can negate. Would we rather be spending negates than disallows here? Well, we dodged the first bullet. Unfortunately, he has more bullets in his deck than we do. We've already gone through three glimmers and everything. Oh, Scarab God. How, f how fun you are. That basically just kills us unless we draw our friggin' filter rune, which we've still not drawn a one of three in 30. A little unfortunate. I don't think we've been paired versus a match where a favorite versus to in, uh, in our four rounds so far. Yeah, we still have some chances, though. We can, like, draw a cast out or something and be okay. He's only attacking of those. We're just going to block with the knight. Probably cast Fumigate this turn. Really, do you have to draw another bomb there? We just draw mono lands in the same spot. These are the type of matches that you just need those bindings and cast outs. And me and Ricky have very different opinions on those cards. I think it uh, is almost ne negligent not to have 3 plus of that effect in your deck. We have to get pretty lucky here. We definitely have to start with a field of rune, and he'll not have much. Or us live 90 seconds, but I don't really want to win just by living 90 seconds. I also think it would be actually hard for me to live 90 seconds. Like, I have to imagine I'm not a favorite to live 90 seconds here. It's 
maybe we can top deck another fumigate next turn. That would give us some hope. There's no other creatures in the graveyard though, so if we get one settled wreckage off, it helps a little bit. Well, that one probably killed us. Another duress right at the right time. Fumigate one time to have a chance. Uh, unfortunately, we lose. Well, here's the card we needed an hour ago. That that would have been useful an hour ago. I think we left a blink in too, didn't we? Yeah, we left a blink in. We left every effect we had to possibly unchain our uh, Teferi. Alright, well, one more match. Do we get a pity chest or are we just sad? Uh, to keep. Green white deck, and we have no white mana. It's a nice, uh, nice feeling. he's the more mid-rangey version, our hand's pretty good. If he's the token version, our hand's not great. Looks like he's kind of the mid-rangey. Yeah, sure. Uh, Volsaplani's really good. We have three counter or four counter spells technically, depending on what type of threats they have. Uh, I kind of just want to let that resolve and use the supreme will. It's only one power. Oh, we'll take the one that has white attached to it. And I plan on counterspelling uh, the next couple threats he could play that makes his power bigger anyway, so. Like if he played a Merfolk this turn, we would just Essence Scatter it or something. Uh, actually, just go ahead and negate that. That card's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, we miss our land drop, even though we've had to tutor for lands. And scatter that as well. Alright, willing to kill this thing now. So he has four spells in hand. We have a lot of answers, but I have to get to them. I doubt he's on GPG. Ah, uh, that card's good enough to counterspell, isn't it? All right, do your worst, homie. We're out of counter spells. Now we look for lands. Let's keep one of them, not the other one. JK, Moto Bug, maybe? Who knows? Oh, third voice of Pliny? Come on, homie. That's not fair. That's just not fair. I think we're just going to pass here and try to gear counter counterspell something and potentially win a race. If he plays nothing, I'll use cast out EOT. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we're just going to have some scatter it. Um, we didn't cast out for a lot of reasons. Primarily because we had a gear hulk. We will cast out now, though. I don't think cast out does a lot, because I think there's just way too often that they untap and play at Ixalan's Binding or something, and sure cast out didn't really do a whole lot. So I'd rather get the gear hook on the board so we can at least get a few attacks in in case that is what happens. And we can cast out that too and get our gear hook back. That feels gnarly. Or we could just cast Fumigate. I don't think I want to play Fumigate though in case he gets his Voice of Plenty back. I think just using the cast outs better. Yeah, so he has nothing. I mean, we get to kill one of their creatures anyway, right? If we have a cast out. Hmm. Like, really far ahead. Uh, opponent's done. Opponent seemed like he had an okay draw, but I guess it wasn't that great. Alright, green-white. It's definitely a match for Lyra. It's actually probably a match for Silloway and probably a match for Forsake the Worldlies as well. Um... What isn't it a match for? So they have Voice of Plenty. They have a Johnny. And that's the two biggest frits that I have to worry about. The man you played away, I would. You gotta, you gotta say it before the lag kicks in. I don't know if Ricky's around. Maybe he can tell us how he would sideboard his dick. Nice Spectre. I'm glad it's going well for you. I kind of want to sideboard out the search. Kind of want to sideboard out the... This is kind of how I want to sideboard, but... Just because I want to sideboard like this doesn't mean it's right at all. This is about the swap I want to make. But if Ricky speaks to us in the next couple minutes, we'll do whatever he says since it's his deck. This is about what I want, I think. Teferi's pretty good in the match, but... I think it's better on the play than the draw, so I don't mind shaving just one. We had a million counter spells last game. Maybe I underrate this card. Maybe I'm not supposed to sideboard out Supreme Will that much, but. Cast out. You like to take out cast outs a lot. I don't think you understand that cast outs like basically one of your best cards. Or maybe, maybe I overrate cast out. Who knows? I just played a whole lot of green cards that don't do anything yet. You 
Yeah, I don't I don't care about any of these green cards our opponents played yet. <laughs> I almost want to just seal away one of the elves. Yeah, I like any of those cards that can like cycle or have a relevant effect. I think Growing White Rats is a real card. I'm not cool. Hmm. Tempted to cast cast out that turn on an elf, but I guess we have disallow. I'll wait one more turn before I do anything aggressive like that. Is this a walking ballista? This is just a walking ballista. I don't know if I care about a walking ballista. Huh. I don't think I care about a walking ballista at all. Kind of like trying to shut off his land right now. Like some chance he scoops to a play like that. Or he could just draw land. I care about you, Ballista. Why, why would you talk about some scrub like James? Screw James. He did win our, our local Friday Night Magic, though. All right, well, we have a hard counter spell, and we have a Glimmer. Feels pretty good for, for us. Why don't you come play at our store, Mr. Johnson? Could have like a forsake the world or something, but he's not getting anything very good back, even if he does. Be curious to see what opponent has now. Casting at pre combat. I'd have probably got my point of damage in. All right, we have double counter spell now. I think it's going to be hard for him to live. Not impossible though. It's the same as your store. How many other people show up giving out one hundred percent? They split it a little bit, but like they don't give all to first. That's the only only super neg. I don't think the competition is good. I think Pastry is a fairly soft store. I'm assuming he gives up now. Even if he has a land, we can disallow the angel trigger. So we're going to get our pity chest. We finally got paired versus a good match, though. Pretty sure the other four matches we played today were... That I don't think we were favored in any of them. Hey, Triple, thank you for the follow, man. Let's, uh, let's, peep, our, let's peep our pity chest. Oh, boy, the riches. 
The riches. What the heck are you? The riches. All right, let's go back and look at our deck. Delete that comment, though. Peep it. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> anyway, so we played blue white. I don't, I don't really know what to say about blue white. I just don't think blue white's well positioned anymore. Um, I think all the black red decks and all the like black white decks are just a favorite versus us. And if there's that many decks that are just a stone favorite versus us that are popular, I don't see why you want to fight through a bunch of blue white mirrors just to get paired versus a couple medium green decks that people shouldn't be playing. I also think History of Banalia is like really, really bad if you're not trying to play four of it. Because like one of it's pretty good, but the card excels in multiples. So if you're not playing four of them, like the odds of getting multiples are extremely low. Huh. The heck is this? I'm not sure how I feel about authority right now either. It seems like nobody's playing just straight mono red, and I think it's bad versus red black and every other deck in the format. I think you only want it versus mono red, which I think is a very favored match versus you. But unless people are playing it, then I don't want it. I just don't think that many people are playing it. It's it's a it's a must have necessity though if a bunch of people are playing it. What else do I not like about this list? I think this card is just silly. I don't think it does anything. This card was kind of cool today, but like... I don't know how good it is either. I would almost rather just have Dovin. Which seems insane to me. I like the second Forsake the World, Lee. I've only been playing one of those. I really like having access to a second. I think that card's very good right now. I think this card's so good right now that you could like play this card in your main deck. Like you could potentially play this card in the main deck right now. In fact, like if I I'm I'm done for tonight for anybody who cares, but like if I was gonna play if I was going to play this deck again tonight, I would probably do something like cut the two Supreme Wheels, add a Negate, and add a Forsake to the main. I think I'm maybe changing the lands a little bit, but other than that, I think I'd be pretty happy with the main deck. We struggled with white mana a lot this league. And if you notice, there's only 14 white sources in the deck. You guys can go uh, load up Frank Carson's article for yourself. Um, but like 14 white sources is not very many white sources like that. That's a very low number of white sources. We might try to, we might try to flash deck tomorrow. If, um, we're going to watch the Grand Prix in the morning. And if the Grand Prix doesn't show us anything interesting, we'll probably play the, uh, Kevin Jones version of the Raft deck because he's had excellent success and I really like the guy. I think he's uh, very good with that style of deck in general. But uh, we have to see what top 8s and what top 16s the Grand Prix tomorrow. There might be something just interesting to play. Hey Tools, thank you for the follow. Anyway, let's see who we can host tonight. Uh, Brad's playing modern. Don't want to host anybody playing modern. Uh, blue green constructor. I don't know what that is, but it looks like he's who wins in terms of getting hosted. Yep, we're gonna host Z Magic, and then we're gonna hop off here. I will pay money. Play my list. I do like money, but. 
Let me let me go back and look at. I couldn't even see your list. Your list had a bunch of glare on it, if I remember right. Your list has all sorts of glare on it. Nick, how am I supposed to read those cards? I don't even know what this card does, and then it just has a bunch of glare on the list you sent. Oh wait, you sent two different pictures? Let's see, there's two disallows. Oh, I guess I can see below it on that. It was like double blue, trickster, wrath. I just don't want to play white in your deck. Do not want to splash white just to play wrath and a Teferi. I don't know. I guess it's probably worth it. Ralph, 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 little Ralphie's actually pretty good. Anyway. So we're going to hop off here. Donation queue. I, I am a sucker. Ray will do a lot of things for money. I mean, we didn't play a whole lot of rounds tonight, Ricky, but there was multiple games where we just did not have our white mana on turn. And to to tell you whether 14's enough to have it, like, literally go look up Frank Karsten's land base article. Like, it explains it better than I could ever try to explain it to you. There's, there's an actual article written by some guy who's absurdly good at mathematics explaining land bases. But anyway, I'm going to hop off here. You guys go watch Z Magic and have a good evening. We'll be back. We may do a bonus stream tomorrow. I'm not sure. Need to start testing for the RPTQ pretty hard, so I think I'm either A, going to up my Skype hour sessions, my Skype magic sessions, or B, up my stream magic sessions. I'm not sure which, but there's going to be a lot more of one of the two. Anyway, take care, everybody. Thanks for the list, Ricky. Thanks for everybody coming out today and the new follows.